This radio here is the Admiral 7L12. It was the Admiral Radio Company's first transistor radio, and it came out in mid-1956. This example is in fairly good shape. You can see it has some discoloration on the front. I could probably clean it off, but I didn't want to risk removing the uh, fairly fragile printing on there. A lot of these are missing, you know, either the name or the, this little atomic logo here. Another nice thing about this example is that there's a uh, no holes in the speaker grill. This is a very thin, delicate material, so most of them have a rip right there. You can see it has some very nice 50s styling. This model has the rotoscope antenna, which is basically Admiral's pop-up rotatable antenna. Just press this button on the back, and it pops up. That way you can rotate the antenna for best reception without rotating the whole radio. On the back, there's a little port for the uh, sun power accessory, which is a uh, solar cell pack. I've never seen one of those for sale, so if you have one of them that you want to sell, let me know. I've replaced all the electrolytic capacitors in this radio, so it, it plays pretty well now. You can see how the antenna makes a big difference. For just the reception, not the actual wedding. It was our option to go to a marriage. I don't even know them. The printing is pretty much entirely worn off of the uh, station dial there. It's also a pretty common problem with this model. To open it up, you just turn this little thumb screw there, and then lift out the chassis. You can see batteries leaked in here and did quite a bit of damage. But after scraping the contacts down and uh, Replacing all of the electrolytic capacitors, the set plays well again. It has six socketed Texas Instruments transistors. You can see two of them there. And there's the Raytheon detector diode. The speaker had a tear in it, which I repaired with uh, Elmer's glue. That actually seems to be a pretty good solution. I've, I've gotten good results from that several times. And it doesn't stink up your house with toxic fumes like uh, rubber cement does. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video. Check out my channel, 50s Transistor Radios, for a bunch more radios.